This is the third part of our video lesson about divisibility rules. The seventh rule is the divisibility rule of 7. A number is divisible by 7 if the sum of 5 times the last digit and the remaining digits of the number is divisible by 7. Let's have this example. 126 6 is the last digit. 1 and 2 are the remaining digits. Based on the rule, we need to multiply the last digit by 5 or 5 times the last digit of the number. So 6 times 5 is equal to 30. Then add 30 and the remaining digits which are 1 and 2. So 30 plus 12 is equal to 42. Now let's divide. 42 divided by 7 is equal to 6. The quotient has no remainder. Therefore, 126 is divisible by 7. Let's check. 126 divided by 7 is equal to 18 and there is also no remainder. There's another way to find if the number is divisible by 7. First, we need to multiply the last digit of the number by 2. Then, subtract its product from the remaining digits of the number. Let's have the same example. We have 126. The last digit is 6. So, 6 times 2 is equal to 12. Now, subtract 12 from the remaining digits which are 1 and 2. Therefore, 12 minus 12 is equal to 0. 0 is divisible by 7. 0 divided by 7 is equal to 0. Now let's divide. 126 divided by 7 is equal to 18. The quotient has no remainder. Therefore, 126 is divisible by 7. We can use either way to find if the number is divisible by 7. The 8th rule is the divisibility rule of 8. A number is divisible by 8 if the number formed by the last 3 digits of the number is divisible by 8. Let's have this example. 2,528 The last 3 digits are 5, 2, and 8, and they formed the number 528. 528 divided by 8 is equal to 66. Let's divide now the example by 8. 2528 divided by 8 is equal to 316. The quotient has no remainder. Therefore, 2528 is divisible by 8. The ninth rule is the divisibility rule of 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. Let's have this example. 198. The digits are 1, 9, and 8. Let's add. 1 plus 9 is equal to 10, then plus 8 is equal to 18. Let's check if 18 is divisible by 9. 18 divided by 9 is equal to 2. The quotient has no remainder. Now let's divide. 198 divided by 9 is equal to 22. Therefore, our example 198 is divisible by 9. The quotient has no remainder.
continuation of this video lesson will be uploaded soon. For now, please don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell and the like button, and if you have suggestions and questions, comment down below. Please also don't forget to share this to others. Thank you for watching. Bye!